Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here today at the Lewis Stokes Wing of the Downtown Cleveland Public Library, and we're here with Director Felton Thomas. Felton, I understand you had a cool idea to do something a little different this year, and it's called Step Out Cleveland. Talk about this. Yeah, we, we wanted to do something. We've always done things with uh, Thompson, uh, Lockwood Thompson Dialogues around some form of different art or culture. And so we wanted to do dance. We want people to be active. We want the people to get up and shake off the rest. So instead of just sitting around in a conference room, you moved it over to the, the, the convention center, right? This new convention center. And you got a bunch of cool people coming in. Yeah, we have a lot of great dancers coming over. We have some DJs coming over. And it's the idea around, let's talk to people about dance at any size. Let's talk about people about dance at any athletic ability. Let's just get up and dance. So a lot of it is, it's social dance. Yes. And you got yoga involved here. You got asana. Uh, you got DJs. You got hip hop. You got all kinds of stuff. So, so let's walk through it a little bit because you you start on uh, it's Saturday, it's uh, November eighth, uh, and Sunday the ninth, right? And so, if you look at Saturday the eighth, starting about eleven, it kicks off with a community discussion. Yeah, we're having a community discussion around dance, and, and so typically our Lockwood Thompson dialogues are just discussions. We bring in speakers that we talk about who are big in the field, who are experts in the field, and we talk to them about, you know, what, how that field is affecting the, the culture and the community of, of the city of Cleveland. Well, this time we, w we wanted to have that discussion, but we wanted to build on it. So the first piece of it is that discussion on dance and how the effect of dance and the effect, it, it ha the effect that it has on the culture of the city of Cleveland. Right. And you've got people doing that, like DJ Freak Nasty, Ana Rockefeller Garcia, some pretty cool people. Yeah, we're, we're really happy with the, the, the group of folks we have discussing it. And they're, we're going to be talking about a lot of different areas of dance, and, you know, because dance has changed from the way well, when I was growing up, when you, you used to, it was a kind of a thing you danced with someone. Now you do a lot of line dance, you don't even touch anybody or even have a contact with other folks. So it's the idea of how each the dance affects each person individually. You've got people like Jared Bendis going to be moderating that from Case, who's involved in dance and technology. So you're bringing people in from both the local and, and national, international scenes. Yeah, we're very fortunate. We have a great you know, a list of folks who are going to be a part of it. And we're very lucky to have Jared, who's going to be moderating the discussion. And, you know, it's a, an opportunity for people who are in the dance field, or ex who are, have that expertise around dance to talk about it. And it's for all the novices, of the, all of us who kind of are somewhat associated with it or just like to dance to talk about how, what part dance plays in our life. Then you get into some workshops there on Saturday in the afternoon, things like Dance for Everybody or Hip Hop Save My Life or, or Social Dance. So really a whole variety of, of topics, and, and, and these are actual hands-on workshops. A lot of these you're going to be getting up and moving around. Yeah, and the first one I really want to talk about, Reagan Chastain, who's, who talks about dance at any size. Because, you know, there is a concept that, you know, if, if you are bigger or if you have a different size than, say, a ballet dancer, you know, that you, you can't get up and dance. And what, the idea is everyone can get up, whatever the size, and be a dancer if they want to be. So more workshops then in the afternoon on Saturday, body positive, floor moves, line dancing, aerial dance. And then in the evening from 8 to midnight, talk about this. It's called Shake Off the Rust. Yeah, well, let's get to we'll, let's talk about the aerial dancing because one area that people have really been excited about is the idea of a class teaching everybody how to do the aerial dancing. And so we really want to make sure that people know that you know if that's some, something you've seen and you have some interest in, we have a class on that and you can come out and and really participate in that. Then we get in and we have a big dance party. You know, DJ Freak Dancy is going to be there, and uh, and Jared's going to be there, kind of you know helping along and, and and putting together the night. And it's just an opportunity for everybody to get up and shake it off. Daniel Gray Contar, uh, Clevelander, who's involved in hip hop and poetry and music, is going to be a DJ in that. And you got a few other guest DJs. Yeah, we have. A a number of other folks who are coming in who are going to be DJing that night and doing a variety of, of, of uh, you know, kind of leading kind of dance lines and things of that nature. So it, it really is for everyone to bring a partner, bring some folks with you. Any, if you haven't danced in a while, just come, over, come on out and have a good time. And don't stay out too late because then things kick off again on Sunday morning, right? So you, you, everybody can come in. And again, you kick it off with kind of a, a discussion. Um, this time it's around yoga. 
Yeah, our friends at Land Studio have been doing a lot around yoga. Recently, they had the, the AHA pr uh, program in which they had 2,000 people out doing yoga on the malls. And so there's a gigantic um, group of folks who are interested in yoga. And this is an opportunity for them to come out, have discussions, have dis and, 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 and do actually the yoga performances. So. And then a session on asana in, in the afternoon right after that? Yeah, it's the natural progression from the yoga to asana and to have everybody there. And get this large group of folks who are interested in it and kind of, kind of learn more about asana. I think it's really interesting how you took what was the Lockwood Thompson Dialogues and, and, and you, you sort of really made a bold move here to, to evolve this to, to the 21st century. Well, the idea, the Lockwood Thompson dialogues were situated around um, Lockwood Thompson, who was a former board member who left us a little money to make sure that we could always have a different dialogue about a different culture or art. We've had food, we've had politics, and he wanted us to continue to look and explore things that are interesting to the city of Cleveland. And so this time when we thought about doing dance, we wanted to do more than just have a discussion about it. You really, dance is one of those things that you have to actually be out and do something around it. You can't really just talk about dance. And so congratulations on this. It sounds like a fabulous, uh, a different approach to all this. You're going to get a whole different group of people. And it really does what the library does, which is create a center of community and really build off of that. Yeah, th that's what our mission is, to be the center for learning for the city of Cleveland. We want people to learn all different things. And so when you can have a discussion around dance, you really can't take away as much as you could if you actually perform. And so that's ultimately why we're, we're, we're doing this. It's a little bit different for, for, for what people would think libraries are, but the city of Cleveland's public library is different, and we want to make sure that you see that. This is awesome. Congratulations. Can't wait to check this out. Step Out Cleveland, November 8th and 9th. Thanks so much for taking time, Felt. Thank you, Thomas. Great to have you. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.